Hello, I'm Kim Rooster Rossiter, and along with. Oh, wait. everybody welcome to marine corps marathon weekend episode 220 of spotlight saturday and man there are so many things going through my mind so many feelings so many emotions so many memories ah i was unsure really how to tackle this episode but i knew that we would all be coming together many of our ainsley's angels family members have traveled across the united states to our nation's capital for this celebration of marine corps marathon weekend and i thought it only fitting to look back and to reflect upon the journey. I'm wearing my Rock the Mock, which is the Marine Corps Marathon shirt that they give to all the participants. And this is the one that I was first given in 2011 when Ainsley and I towed the line. I never imagined so many years later that we'd be in a position where over hundreds of our Ainsley's Angels riders have had a chance to attack the hill. You know, that famous last piece of terrain that we attack at the Iwo Jima War Memorial to pay homage and tribute to those that have gone before, specifically those that raised the flag at Mount Suribachi, Iwo Jima, World War II. There's so many things that take us from the 2011 starting line. As I journey through that and reflect, I can remember just the feeling of the starting line, which is so beautiful. And all of you that have done this race or going to do this race, you, you know that energy I'm speaking of. It's something that uh, is akin to, I don't know, like kickoff of a high school football game or just that feeling you get within when you're about to experience something just totally adrenaline boosting. Everybody coming together, everyone being accepted. As you go along the course, just the crowds of support, the patriotism for our country. Gosh. Our loved ones line the course. They're there to celebrate and to cheer us on as we navigate the nation's capital. 26.2 miles, culminating, of course, at the top of the hill. Ah, what a journey. We have family members traveling from all over the country. So many states represented for this weekend's celebration. And wanted to check in with some of them and ask, you know, like, why are you running the Marine Corps Marathon? Who are you running with? What are you looking most forward to? I think we chose Marine Corps Marathon actually three years ago because we are excited about being part of the Ainsley's Angels family. We've been seeing the videos and hearing about Marine Corps for years. And so we're just excited to be part of a big group of angels just having a blast in D.C. Hello, my pink brothers and sisters. I can't wait to see all of you in D.C. And I can't wait to have fun. So I will see you very soon, I think. A family soon. Soon we get to do what we love to do. Racing. It's Marine Corps Marathon time, and I'm excited. It'll be my third go at the Marine Corps. Why do I do this race? Uh, I've always loved history, the monuments, the landmarks, everything around DC area. It was always a bucket list race. And then in 18, my little brother enlisted to be in the Marines, so I decided I had to do it. Uh, that year, I also ended up becoming a part of Ainsley's and came on as an extra runner for 18 and 19 and absolutely loved it and uh, can't wait. This year, what am I looking forward to? Uh, I'm bringing a rider from Michigan with me, Alyssa. It's Team Beauty and the Beast. Use your device and tell them what are you excited about. I ride with Ainsley's Angels. I love PJ Race. Run excited. I don't know if you could hear that, but I run with Ainsley's Angels. I love PJ Race. Run excited. Wait a minute. You don't love PJ, do you? Do you like running with PJ? Yeah. Are you excited to meet some new friends? Are you excited to go to some new places? 
Yay! We're excited for the Marine Corps Marathon. We're gonna knock one more thing off the list of things that uh, at one point were thought to be impossible. And you know, she's, she's showing what can happen. My favorite memory from Marine Corps? Favorite memory actually happens every year. And it's that dinner the night before. Uh, the entire team meeting, uh, just a room of full of love and inclusion and a bunch of people ready to embark on something amazing the next day. And I just, I love being in that room with everybody. It's just, it's my favorite memory, but it gets to happen every year at the family reunion or team dinner. Quite a special moment I'll never forget is when Ainsley received her Marine Corps Marathon medal. Just after crossing that finish line, the Marines come, they put the medal upon the rider's neck. It's, it's really just a special moment, as is the entire day. Lieutenant, I introduce Ainsley Rossiter. I request that you put Three, that medal on her neck. Well, she's completed the marathon. She's on her yet again. Woo! You did it, sweetheart. You did it. You know, happening just in the shadows of Arlington Cemetery and throughout all of the monuments in Washington, D.C., the whole event is uh, just miraculous. And I'm so excited for this weekend for us to come together and celebrate it. After so many years, you know, 2011 to now, gosh, so much to reflect upon. The different memories across the years, the different opportunities. And of course, our why. Why do we do this? Here's mine. The only way that you can really move forward in, in anything and live a life that's fulfilling is to feel the highs and to feel the lows. We chose to find those simple things in life and to celebrate them, to be grateful for them because they flee. And her short life taught us that. Don't take it for granted, cherish it while it's here. I was excited every day about being a United States Marine. I went from a young private up to staff sergeant and then rose to the rank of major before retiring. And then Ainsley came along in 2003. She's our second born child. She's so full of joy, man. I mean, when she entered the world, she just had like a permanent sense of happiness about her. We just were a family of four loving our lives together. It was during my deployment to Iraq in 2005 when Lori voiced some concerns about Ainsley's progression. There were some milestones like pulling to stand and walking that she wasn't reaching. I can remember that like it was yesterday. Shock, denial, sadness, all the feelings. And then me thinking to myself, what can I do to make it less painful? My wife and I realized, let's go enjoy every day with Ainsley. Let's celebrate every day. Like we went out and we shared Ainsley's joy with everyone. There they go, first run. Ainsley's physical therapist told us that there was a new group called Team Hoyt Virginia Beach that was starting up back in 2008. We got down there and Ainsley got put into the running chair. I can remember that exact moment where her face just lit up like the sun. It was just it's so grabbing and so just joyful. Okay, let's go. And just in that split second of time, it was an immediate decision to say, I'm not a runner, but I'm about to become one for my daughter. I got to go outside and run with my daughter and take all her machines off and just go, just roll with the wind. And as time went on, we wanted more because it was so amazing, the experience, just the energy. So we worked together to bring the equipment needed and pairing it with runners and riders. And, and that was it, man. And, and here we are now, you know, 10 years later. I just never imagined that going for multiple runs with my daughter would ever have led to a family of 35,000 people. That's positive energy that is undeniably beautiful. The feeling I get from running is really just hard to describe. But what I do know is it's something I want every human to experience. So they can feel that connection that occurs between your mind and your body as you go out there and are included in a community experience. 
Running has healed me in so many ways to not only feel Ainsley's presence, to continue to be moved by her, but at the same time to grieve and to be okay with grieving. And even now, five, six years after her passing, like her spirit is so with me every time I run. To live uplifted is to just be the brightest light you can be. And if you can find that through running, if you can find that through giving, leverage it, harness it, and make your light brighter. In 2015, Ainsley's Angels of America established a Joe Worth Award. Joe was the first recipient for his can-do, unselfish devotion to Ainsley's Angels. Since then, each year, another angel has been recognized. This year, the 2022 recipient is PJ, and we are most grateful for his unselfish devotion to Ainsley's Angels of America. We've also established a new award this year, the Values Award, that angel ambassador who executes every day with our values at the forefront. This year, we'd like to recognize six Values Award recipients, and we are grateful for their long-standing dedication. If you watch Spotlight Saturday, then you're aware that our goal is to give away a Freedom Push Chair in every one of the episodes moving forward. This week, it gives me great pleasure to announce episode 220's recipient, Jalen Grant. We're gonna ship a Freedom Chair to you down in Greater Houston, very excited for you. And for everybody, like, look, all you have to do is go into the comments of a Spotlight Saturday episode, nominate somebody with a name and a location, and we'll get the Freedom Chair shipped down to the selected person. So every month, there's gonna be an episode, so don't, don't worry if you're not Jalen Grant and you've nominated someone else, go down to the comments of episode 220, we're going to pick from those comments to select the person in episode 221, which will be in November. Mm -hmm.